Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a ThinkPad E14 uh, Gen 2 laptop. I'm going to show you how to access your storage and memory. So this would be your RAM, your solid state drive, hard drive, whatever the computer has. I'll show you how to access that in this video. First thing you want to do, guys, shut your computer off. Make sure it's powered down correctly. Unplug your charger. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to remove all the screws that hold down this bottom case. So there's three on the side here, three on the other side, one here in the middle, and there's either one or two there depending on what model you have on top. Then you're going to use a small plastic pry tool, maybe like a guitar pick, and you're going to go across the seam all the way around this computer, and you're going to slowly, carefully pry apart the bottom case from the palm rest. After you get your computer open, this is what you're looking at for the inside. Now again, just like we made sure your computer is powered off and unplugged, we're going to now unplug your battery. That's the first thing you do before messing with anything in your computer, take the battery out. So to take this battery out, it's this long thing down here. It's held in by five screws up top, and then it unplugs from the motherboard right here in this port. Now don't just pull on the wires to get that out. Sometimes you can damage the wires that way. You're going to grab the plug on either side with your fingernails or with a small plastic pry tool and slowly jimmy that out of there until your battery is unplugged and then your computer is safe to work on. So while you guys are working on that, uh, just a quick shout out. When I'm working on a computer, guys, I have it sitting on a large anti-static pad. Um, if not a pad, an anti-static bracelet, but something to, again, limit the power running through this computer so we don't damage anything accidentally by touching the wrong thing. If you guys need any suggestions with tools or supplies for your computer project, check out the link above. It'll also be below in the description. It's to my Amazon store, and it gives you some ideas of things that I use in my shop. After you get the battery removed, guys, the computer is now a little safer to work on. So to shout out where things are, this is your RAM right here. This thing comes up very easily. Um, and this is your one single RAM port right there. So it'll have a metal arm on either side that's spring-loaded that holds the RAM into place. To get the RAM out, you would grab both of those and gently pry them apart away from your RAM stick. And the RAM stick will then release. Most times it will even pop up a little bit and then you can slide it out. That's how you would access and replace your RAM. Now this computer doesn't have a hard drive if you notice, there's no hard drive here. What it actually has is an EMMC drive and that's integrated into the motherboard. So you cannot actually easily remove that or upgrade it. What you have for additional storage is this solid state drive M2 port here. Uh, so a solid state drive would plug into this port, you would push it down nice and flush, and it would be held in by that single screw right there on the bottom. So that's how you would access your solid state drive. Um, if you have one, if you want to install one, most of you will not have one stock in this computer. This is for an additional upgrade if you want it. And of course your RAM stick. So that's the video guys. I hope it was helpful in accessing those components. If you had any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do update those as I see questions coming in. If you need to leave me a comment, feel free. I do try to get to those all the time. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll leave you now with a quick word from my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description.